you love listening to music and of course you love modeling i think this is the tutorial for you because in this video if you haven't already noticed we're going to be looking at three ways to make some audio visualizers in blender using ev and well we're going to be using the visualizer add-on and as always don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for weekly content on blender and we'll get started after the intro Okay guys, before we get modeling, I just want to show you this video. It's Good Bake in 20 Minutes, Episode 4 by Max Studios. Link could be in the description down below. This is where I got my beat, yeah. It's a really cool beat. In FL Studio, yeah, I think you guys should watch that. I recommend it for that and well. And also this abstract like procedural abstract dark matter animation. Video. So recently, yeah, by Pink Pocket TV. I recommend you watch this because we're going to be using it as the last method, actually. So I recommend you watch this because it's really helpful. And while the add on, it's called Visualizer Dog Key 3. Yeah. So just go code and well, hit the download zip button. button. Yeah. So jump into Blender, go to edit. Yeah. Edit preferences under add ons. Yeah, go install and go to where you saved add on. Should don't extract, just search Visualizer. Okay, there's where it is. And well, if you're just installing this for the first time, this will pop up. But since I've already got in, got it, got it installed. Okay, guys, in Blender, I'll just like select everything by hitting A and delete. Okay, so first, as I showed you guys, see the visualizer over here, and let's go ahead and open up the beat I'll be using this video. So you guys can create it. Leave a link in the description on how to get uh, the video. Maybe. So the first one, we're not going to be using the radio. Okay, you can adjust for some settings, but I'll just leave it like this. Generate visualize visualizer and we gotta wait for that to load okay guys i think it's done and you can see the b is amazingly plain in our viewport okay so let's quickly just um increase the end to about 1000 because that's the rate of the song jump into the said this video will be ev yeah so now let's add a new material I'm not going to be using the default. Add new material, change it to emission, and yeah, yeah, change it to emission and give it a light blue. But it likes light blue, light blues, yeah. 20 will be cool, and well, we'll just select everything onto L and materials. Pretty cool, and well, we'll just, um, yeah. Ambient occlusion bloom force. Yeah, screen space reflection. Pretty cool. Now to hear our beat or whatever you're using, the music, go to the video editing and add our song. Sound. Yeah, sound. Add our song. If you haven't already created it, it should be the video link will be in the description. I just added some other sound to it. Make it look cool. Okay, so now let's see if it matches. Yeah, and it does match. Okay, so now I'll just add our camera. We can know its position. Zoom in about here and bunch of old zero. Snap it to the view. I think I'll move it up. Yeah, move it up a bit. Yeah, on the Z. 
Okay. Okay, pretty good. Now, next thing, uh, like, today's particles will be different. Like, these particles will be well creative and well, just, we're just gonna add in the plane. Well, yeah. Scale up to about 100 and move it above our camera. Go to the camera view, move it, yeah, about close, yeah, close to our, yeah, I think that's too far. Move it. Where is the plane? I'm just deleted. I'll add a new plane. Well, same thing, skill, 100. Then move it up. That's our camera. Just above the camera. And well, yeah, something like this. So when you get it, when you got it positioned correctly, add a particle system. Any number, and well, the life the end should be about one thousand. No, yeah, one thousand lifetime one thousand and lifetime randomness about twenty. So now, if you play it, makes it look like. No effect. Pretty cool effect, actually. Okay, so pretty cool effect, right? So that's um first um next we'll add an icosphere. Yeah, add an icosphere. Give it a subdivision of three. Make it smooth, jump into edit mode, and I think I'll subdivide it once more. Smoothness to one. Tab out, tab out of edit mode. And this will be, you guessed it, our particle. So now playing. Now at render, change from halo to about object. Yeah, the object will be our icons here over here. And just jump to this point. Yeah, it's an icosphere that's falling down. So you can either change like the size of it from here. That's on the yeah. The size from here. Or you could just click the icosphere and change its size. You can see it change it. But well that this will look cool. Okay, so the icosphere, I'm just gonna give it a pretty emission. Not that much, not that. Yeah. I think I'll just change it to about blue and. Okay. And a pretty cool effect you could do is just add a plane. Skillet 100. We'll be getting a camera and, well, under the physics at a collision and with the icosphere selected move it out of yeah and add a collision on it so if you play it gives you that bounce effect I'll render this right now and just see how it looks. Okay, looks pretty cool. I think we could change something up. 
select the background and make it black. Black. And I'll rather just remove that thing gets lost. Maybe do it like this. Let's close it off. So open it, you just go here, click this. Okay. It's a handy tip. That's a handy tip. Yeah. So now if we turn lesion, we just pass through it. Looks pretty cool. Okay, go ahead and be filling with some of the effects. So, well, this is the first visualizer we'll be looking at. And well, I think I'll just save this project. Yeah, pass visualizer. Okay, now time for the next. Again, Ctrl A. Uh, yeah, A, delete, and now we'll be using the same visualizer, but and the same music, yeah, same beat. Yep, exactly that, but now we'll be using radio. Let's generate that up. Let's wait for it to calculate where it's meant to calculate. And I'll get you guys when it's done. Okay guys, it's done. And now if you hit this new camera I'm really seeing, yeah. Hit play, you can see this is the radial to circle. Just uh yeah, this is the radial well type or form of it. So it's still the song, but because we need to like not video editing, yeah, and add our sound sound yeah yeah I'm just gonna pick the sound looks pretty cool actually matching and jump into you can also give this a color blue and well you can play around with it like I showed you guys earlier in the first well in the first method or the first um, visualizer visualizer okay so now this for the last and maybe the hardest so in this I'm going to be using um, uh, the tutorial that I showed you guys it was just we just made like a in this tutorial he made like a cloth something like a dark matter effect link in the description down below yeah, so I'll link, yeah, in the description down below. So I just want to open up the project. I want to show you guys how we could just do something that looks like this. Okay. Now on this, I think I've not, um, okay, yeah, I've done this already. Okay. So first what I did was. I just um Yeah. So if you play nothing is actually playing. Nothing's playing. So let's go ahead and go to the fest. Close that. Go to the first frame. So Go ahead and add a song sound yeah sound add our sound it is gonna bring up my sound sound and you can see nothing's moving okay so now this is where it turns a little bit th tricky some sort well now you click this yeah 
So we're gonna be animating the strength and well the texture. Again, the link of the video on how to create this will be in the description down below. I think you guys should check it out before you watch this. Okay, so first we just gotta go to first frame, click I here, I, and you can see it appears down here. So we go to key, pick sound to F curves, and just go open up our sound. Yeah, and this is something you guys see. I'm zero to something like 250, should be good. And if we big sound to F curves, it starts moving. Moving in some weird um, directions, as you can see. Okay, so next we're going to be animating is this. So we'll go here to the mount, hit I, and you can see it appears here. We'll go to key, yeah. Big sounds F curves. Open up our sound. Yeah. This time we're gonna be using 250 to about 600. And lowest frequency to highest frequency. Not that much frequency we are gonna be needing. Okay, as you can see, it's um like increasing, it's increasing. Yeah, pretty good. So next we're gonna be Animating the size, noise size, so exactly the same thing. Big sounds F curves 34. Yeah, the, let's open up my the sound, yeah. And well, I'll just go to 600. I'll link a video in, in the description how to do something, something like this, yeah. Big sounds F curves, okay. You can see it bring out a cool effect. You can see sometimes it enters inside just according to the sound. Now I'll cut into the tutorial. I'll leave you guys in the description. Yeah, just position it, give it the materials. Exactly what he said in that video and well, link will be in the description down below. Okay, so this is how it looks. Now, if you play it, looks something like so, so I don't, I don't have that much high pitch, and well, this is something that looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool, actually. Yeah, looks pretty cool. I think that's it. Well, okay, guys. So I think that's it for this video. And if you liked it, give it a, give it a thumbs up. So in just a sum, we just did like three different methods to create like, well, audio visualizers. Well, pretty cool. Well, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and check out the videos I recommended. Link will be in the description down below. And the link for the Bizalizer add-on will be in the link down below. Okay, so I'll see you in the next tutorial. Okay, guys, so of course the tip for today for this video is how I did this. The color to change like this. And well, I tell you that it's pretty simple and easy. So just go ahead. Drop in the emission, do the basic things, generate the visualizer, drop in the emission, emission shader, then add a color ramp to the color. Give it some colors, make it constant, and well, also add a wave textures, because this would be what we're animating, and the object info node. Connect the object info node randomness to the vector input of the wave texture. The color output connects to the factor input of the color ramp. Color output output of the color ramp connected to the emission color. Okay, so with that, if we just press Ctrl Spacebar there, you can jump to the first frame, put as something like zero. If you click this, you can see I animated this. I animated it. I'm just go ahead and delete this keyframes. Show you that. 
if I delete these keyframes right now and play it, it won't change any color at all. So if the best way to do it is if we're at the scale, yeah, at zero, just put it at zero. At the first frame, yeah, start at the start, you put it at zero, something like that. Then you hit I when you're hovering around the, let's move over there. Yeah. Yeah, you hit I over here to add a keyframe at that point. And you jump to the end and you can see it's the same color. And you just change it to something like 50. Pretty cool. Hit I again to add a keyframe at that point. And if you play it, of course it will change. And because it's it's red at that at the beginning because I put it at zero at the beginning point. If you put it at another number at the beginning point, it will not be red or any standard color. Because it was red because it started with red over here. So if I put it this at um zero point two at the beginning at the first frame and I hit I and see it didn't start with a solid color so that's a simple way to just like add some cool effect to your renders and materials well so if you liked it don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for weekly content on blender and well i'll see you in a future video bye